It's one thing that frustrates me in the morning is that you can't get a good coffee from a cafe before you go fishing. And to me, that's really important. And yes, for everyone that's like, oh, what a coffee snob. I am a coffee snob and I love my coffee. So I'm very passionate about it, just like my fishing. Just every, like one good coffee in the morning can make, make your day. So, so cafes start opening up at 5 a.m. Thank you. I just thought I'd put that in there. All right, guys, well, apart from that coffee situation, it's been a while. It's been around probably a month. And it's not that I haven't been recording content. I actually have been going out probably once every second week on the kayak, land-based every, every now and then. I just can't seem to produce like more than one or two fish and not being quality fish too. So I don't want to show you guys a lack of footage where you guys aren't going to be pretty you know, excited or entertained about. So yeah, I've just let it be for a month, but it's getting a bit ridiculous. Probably one more week until winter ends. I think the weather has had a big key factor in in why I'm not catching fish. Although some people have been catching fish, but I haven't personally. So let's take the kayak out, hit the water. There's a bit of foot traffic outside. So I just thought I'd do this recording inside. The sun is, the sun, the sun, blah, 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 blah. But the sunrise is looking amazing. So yeah, let's get going. Let's hit the water and see how we go. It's a bit chilly. It's a cold morning. Hopefully that's a sign, eh? How you going, mate? How you going, brother? How's things? Good luck out there, huh? It's been, it's been quiet lately. <laughs> At least the weather's good today, you know? It's beautiful, man. What are you targeting? I'm going out to the peak. I've got another mate who's... Um, are you going out? Yeah, I'm going out. Oh, wow. Well, that's yeah, sick. I've got another mate. I've got another mate. Yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, just anything, man. Like sand Sambos, if there's anything around. Yeah. Kingy, if I get smoked, I don't care. Good luck, mate. Thanks, man. You too, bro. All right, so we've, we've made it. First light. A bit of overcast still. But it does look like it's going to be a pretty clear day. But there's a bit of overcast. So we've got... Got the data's rigged up, Z-Man, and we've just got a light tackle rod as well. So, um, you know, we'll switch it up. If there's no salmon hitting on the big stuff, that's a six inch. Then I'll just use a, use a slim swim and see if I can target brim or salmon or whatever's around. So, not much of a game plan, but I haven't got my sounder today. I just want to just cruise it. I don't want to overthink things. It has been a bit like that this month, so I'm just going to try to chill out maybe search around more than just have a look at my sound i just search to see if there's any bus stops happening or just anything man so yeah stay with me let's see if we can catch on to a few fish eh? oh there's my seconds no nothing yet it's okay patience is a virtue patience is a virtue that is such a shocking cast what's that about Look at the nice salmon on kings. Surely a brim on this key tag. That's why I got the light stuff out right now. The confidence levels aren't peaking on that six inch. Surely a touch on this three inch key tag. No nibs yet, but not happening oh yeah got it in there nice yep yes got it. yes there we go we're on I don't know what that is it could be a trev I think it is a trev unless it's a good brim I don't think so I think that's a trev Hit that key tech nicely. Oh, that's a good. No, it's it's a little sambo. <laughs> oh, my first salmon on lure. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> He's a tiny bugger. 
There you go. That's what I was looking for the whole time in the last two years. I've been looking for salmon on lure. He's not big by all means. Let's just get the net and stop mucking around. He's not bite at all. He's the tiniest salmon I've ever seen in my life. But it's a salmon. Have a look at that. My first salmon. Oh jeez, he's eaten the whole key tech, eh? Where'd he go? Jeez, what did he do to this jig head, man? He really mangled this jig head, didn't he? Alright guys, first salmon on lure. Thought I would have probably got a 50 or a 60 as my first, but very small guy. We'll put him back in. He's a nice fish. It's my first salmon on lure, so I've got to appreciate every fish I catch first. First time on lure. But yeah, that's the target species. Hopefully a bit bigger, and hopefully we'll run into some kings as well, but that was right underneath the moored boat, so we'll put him back in. Oh, a nice cool. See you later, mate. Ooh, mate. Oh, he's gone. I won't give it too much time here around these moored boats. I might give up on the moored boat. There was only that one salmon that came through. Oh, just got chased up by a Sambo. You're kidding. Bro. Did you guys see that? Mm. He chased it all the way up. <laughs> he committed and he chased it all the way up. And he missed it at the end. You're kidding. That scared me. That is definitely what's going on, so. And I think it's pretty typical for winter. A winter's fishing, so. Yeah. Yeah, get him, get him. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good fish. I've got him on the drop there. I think that's another salmon. Pretty sure. Should move away from the boat. Unless that's a good brim. Or a trev. That hit it on the drop, actually, so it could be a salmon. Yeah, it could be a salmon, I reckon. I'll just move him away on the boat, on the slim swim bloodworm, okay. He's pouncing like a trip, so it could be a trip too. He hasn't jumped. Yeah, it's a trip. It's a little trevy trip. And he was on that boat. So that's second species. Second species. Not big. But we're finding fish. There you go. Good stuff. Really good, really good. I might stick around the boat today. Not a big species at all. Very tiny. Tiny little bugger. But another fish. So, yeah, it's good. I'm happy with that. So as small as these guys are, they always put up a good fight on that light tackle. But yeah, he's, he's pretty small. He's not big at all. Pretty tiny guy. Probably pushing max 30, so we'll put him back in. And it's been a pretty um, pretty good sesh. One salmon, one trev. All around the boats today, so I fished the marina a bit and nothing's really happening there. But yeah, just around the boats, if you get them real tight in, those, those shady pockets, I'm finding a few fish. So hopefully a few more today. See what happens. Well, so I'll take these darters six inch off and we'll put a centered four inch, is it? Five inch. Perfect size actually. Oh shit, I hit Kev. Sorry Kev. Um yeah, five inch is a great size actually, that's a good size, so we'll put that on. And we'll see if it makes a difference. With jerk shads, you really got to get them right, or else they won't swim good. So, if you are using jerk shads, ah, yeah, looks all right, mate. That should work. There's a nice little edge there, so I might throw the blade out if I don't get hit on this jerk shad. But I'm going to work these boats around here, and then I'll just hit the edge up on pull high. I might be able to get a nice brim on the blade. Oh, 
Mach hier erst ab. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna find a king around here. I can always go. For, oh yes, big school, big school. Oh, big school. Follow that jerk, Chad. I've seen him. Is that a sambo? Is that a king? Oh, that was good. I think that's a sambo. I've seen three of them come up for a day. I've seen three. I think it could be a king. Or not. What a take that was. It's a bigger model Sambo, that's for sure. There you go, the jerk shad. Is it? Yeah, Sambo. I've just seen it. Yeah, a couple of salmon here. There was three of them, so... Come cast. Are, are you baiting, or...? Oh. Oh, it's actually... Oh, yeah, it's a salmon. He's all right, man. Yeah, it's not bad. It's better than my first one. My first one was real small. This guy's not bad. Sorry? Do you eat salmon? Do you eat salmon? Yeah. Yeah, I'll give it to you, man. Yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, it's alright, man. That's cool, bro. Hell yeah. That's a better size. I'll make you a deal. Um, if you can hold my phone and just do a video, that'll be awesome, man. I'll come towards you. So, that's the second salmon. This one on the jerk shad. Uh, five inch jerk shad. And yeah, I'm going to give it to this bloke that's filming me right now. I appreciate it, bro. And yeah, good fun on the um, on the light tackle. So yeah, we just unpin him on the quarter rounds, Oro jerk shad, and that's yours, mate. Throw him in the bucket. Perfect. There you go. <laughs> Result. Easy. Sweet. All right, guys. Well, I'm about to pack up and put the yak in the uh, in the vehicle. But good session. I went uh, came here with the intention of targeting salmon, and I caught two. So. Ever since I started lure fishing, I've, I've caught king, jew, some pretty good fish, but I haven't landed the salmon on lure. And today, I can say that I did. So it's one of those uh, grateful sessions where I'm pretty appreciative of coming out, targeting a species and catching that species. Even though salmon aren't really a trophy fish, to me, it meant something. So this, this session really meant something to me. And I'm, I'm glad I got, I got it done. So it seems like the water's heading up a bit. We're coming into spring. It's been a bit quiet this winter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Catch us next time and hopefully sooner sooner than later. So yeah, peace out and uh, God bless everyone.